This is a tutorial for Dex Science 5.1. Hi, in this video, we will demonstrate the formation of clouds in a bottle. We are going to use materials from the compartment B5.2.1.3. We've used some of the materials in this compartment for an activity already, so the only thing left is the modified bottle cup. It has this hole in there that will enable us to perform our activity. Let's go and bring our pump. We use this pump to inflate our globe in our previous experiment. We are going to use it again in this experiment. So to do this experiment, we are going to need a bottle, an empty water bottle. Preferably 0.5 liters. Now, in order to perform this activity, we are going to have to place our pump through this hole inside our bottle cup. Again, because we want this to be airtight, it might be a little bit difficult to put your silicone tube through the hole. You can push one side through and then try to put the other side. And don't worry in case your pump gets removed from the silicone tube. Just place it back after you are done putting it through the bottle cap. Once you're done, Make sure everything is tight and your setup should be ready to go. It's important to note that you have to let enough of the silicone tube come through the bottle cap. Now, in order to form the clouds in a bottle, you have to make sure the cup fits very tightly. So we need to remove the ring that may be on the bottle. You need to get a sharp object. Always make sure you have an adult present whilst you do these activities. With our sharp object, we are going to remove the ring that may already be on the bottle. Good. Once that ring is off, we are going to place our bottle cap onto our bottle. We are going to cap it all the way to the end. And once we've done that, we are going to open it by twisting it in the opposite direction. Once we do this, it's going to leave its own ring on the bottle. Once we are done with that, we can nicely tighten our bottle cap onto our bottle. But before we do that, we need to fill the bottle with some particles. Now, the particles we're going to use are alcohol particles. And so we need some hand sanitizer to enable us get some alcohol particles into the bottle. We're going to squeeze some hand sanitizer into this bottle. And as the alcohol in the hand sanitizer evaporates, it's going to fill the bottle with some alcohol particles and this is what our water vapor is going to attach to in order to form the clouds in the bottle. Let's go ahead and give it a shake so that there's alcohol everywhere. Now we're going to cover it but before we do we need to crumple the bottle. Now this will just simply help us see as we put some pressure into the bottle. Let's go ahead and cap it nicely. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then we are going to start pumping. Now, immediately you start pumping, you may hear the bottle crack and regain its original shape as you pump. Now, for a 0.5 liter bottle, you might need between 25 and 30 pumps in order to get it ready to perform the activity. It's possible that at a point as you pump, the pump is going to automatically come off on its own. This is fine. But if, the, if it does not, keep pumping until about 25 to about 30 pumps. You would see that the pump is going to get harder and harder 
as you pump but always make sure you go through a full pump and fill the bottle if you feel that the bottle has enough pressure and it's become really hard then it's ready now in order to get the clouds in the bottle you need to very quickly pop open the bottle if you do it slowly it's not going to work you need to pop open it really fast and you're going to hear a popping sound as you do that let's go wow you can see the clouds have formed nicely in the bottle and when you squeeze the bottle the clouds float out we just formed clouds in a bottle how exciting is that This is exactly how clouds form in the atmosphere. But these are actual clouds that we formed in a bottle. An amazing activity done using the Dex Science Set 5.1. Let's make some clouds. See you in the next video.